In this video, we'll learn about the Trios Design Studio workflow for inlays onlays. The Trios Design Studio solution is a complete digital workflow with fully integrated CAD CAM modules. This solution is dedicated to dental practices that would like to produce restorations like crowns, inlay onlays, veneers, and bridges in house. As a default, the patient's page has been set as the home page, but you can change that in settings depending on your preference into the case page or calendar. Start with creating a patient. To do that, click on New Patient. In the pop-out window, fill in the patient details. Only last name is compulsory. When done, click OK. Then create the case. Choose In-House as the place of production. You can set it as default in situations when you have many labs on your list. Fill in the rest of the order details if necessary. Select Digital Impression as case type. It is also possible to add photos and comments. When ready, click Next to select the tooth, type of restoration, and type of material. Click Next. Now the scanning module will start. The lower jaw has been indicated as the first one, then upper jaw and the occlusion. You can scan in any order. Always remember to mark the tooth on which the restoration is planned. Working with the TRIO scanning module, you can use all the tools available for the TRIOS application. When all the necessary scans are ready, click Next to move to Crown Modeling. Start with the margin line step. In this case, you can only do it manually. Set the first point and then the rest of them. The line will always try to stick to the margin for your convenience. Remember that any adjustment is possible. Also, remember that you can adjust the margin from the outside and inside of the scan. If you would like to remove and redo a margin placement, just click on the Clear button whilst having the tooth indicated or use the Undo button. Once the margin line is set, click Next to move to the Insertion Direction step. Software will automatically set it and indicate it with the green vector. If you wish to adjust the Insertion Direction, you can rotate the scan to the desired position and then click the From View button to have it set. Check for changes in the undercuts. It is important to avoid the creation of undercuts on the margin. If the new insertion direction creates more undercuts, click the Auto button to have it recalculated to optimal value. Once you have done that, click Next to move to the Anatomy Design step. Software automatically generates the design for the restoration, but you also have the option to adjust it yourself using different available tools. Firstly, you can select different available tooth designs from the Smile Library menu. Simply click on the one you prefer, and the software will replace the default one with the new one. Then use other available tools to create the design as it is supposed to be. Start with setting the tooth in the correct position, in relation to neighbours in the arch and antagonist. Our transformation tool will help you with that. Use the control spheres to move the tooth or click on it and simply drag it. Use the Morph tool to apply changes to the surface. Click Shift and scroll the mouse wheel to change the radius of the tool. Click on the chosen point on the tooth and drag it to change its shape. You can also use a wax knife to add or remove material from the design, as well as to smooth it. Click Shift and scroll the mouse wheel to change the radius for a wax knife, or use the sliders instead in the left menu box. In the Contacts tool, you will find options like Cut to Neighbours, as well as Occlusal, where you can set the distance value and enforce it. At the end, click on Minimum Thickness to be sure that the design meets the material requirements and check how it may affect your design. When your design is ready, you can move to the next step, which is the CAM module, and start the production. Now you have learned how to design inlay onlay. Thank you for watching.